Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin Ve sallallahu ve sellem ala nebiyyine Muhammed Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ve mebe'd Hayyil ahabbeti fillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to be one ummah not to divide and that this collective jama'ah should be striving together, not opposing one another. That the duty of the mu'min is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ وَالْجِنُ وَالْإِنْسِ لَلْيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. And that this collective duty is that we should cooperate in righteousness and not cooperate in evil and wickedness and spreading sectarianism and spreading hatred of one another. While Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says, وَتَعَوَنَ عَلَىٰ بِرُ وَتَقْوَ وَلَا تَعَوَنَ عَلَىٰ إِثْمِ وَلُعُدْوَانِ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And cooperate, all of you together. تَعَوَنَ عَلَىٰ بِرُ وَتَقْوَ Cooperate in righteousness and God-fearfulness. And do not cooperate in sinfulness and enmity. Now if we were to actualize that in our practice, by coming together for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and assisting one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not assisting one another in accordance with Hizbiya to aid hatred and partisanship to say that we've established a sect of Shia here and we're going to hate Ahl Sunnah we're going to oppose the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam based upon either our racial background, our nationality, or our false beliefs that are very zahir, very apparent, that they don't go in accordance with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this, of course, is ta'awan ala ithmi wa adwan. This is cooperating in sinfulness and enmity and spreading enmity is when you embrace those other creeds the creeds which go against the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the salaf of this ummah and i want to just min briefly describe the situation that i've come across right now i'm in a place called jigjiga in Ethiopia and this is the first time I've ever had brothers warn me about praying in the masjid meaning that some of the brothers from Ahlul Sunnah they said they felt it was safer for me to establish the Salat the Maghrib and the Isha I've just combined because I'm a traveler uh, in my small room here and they did this because of the situation here in which Jamaat al-Ahbash, which is a Sufi sect, uh, has assistance with the leadership here and that they not only spy, but that they uh, that it can cause harm for Ahl Sunnah sometimes by being outward in your religion, even just from dress and appearance, that they associate that with terrorism or so to associate adhering to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with extremism. And due to these factors, the brothers in this uh, locality have warned me and said that I should pray in my room so as not to be, and of course keep my passport with me and, and that I may be visited anyway. So this shows us also the ni'mah ahbatifillah of when you're in a place where you are able to practice your Islam 
without fear, without look at what our brothers and sisters go through in Yemen and other places of being oppressed, of going through warfare, having fear of going to the masjid that you may be shot, your children may be killed, a roadside bomb may uh, explode in your locality, in the market. So, amen and security is a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what Ahl Sunnah we call to. We don't call to the destruction of homes and the destruction of people's wealth and property and lives. But rather we call to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to reform the individual, to reform the society in accordance with the worship of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala alone. This is the Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah. And this is what we call to. But when you have these others who cooperate in Itham and Udwan, in sinfulness and enmity like Jamaat al-Ahbash and the Shia, the various Shia sects who do everything possible to undermine the Da'wah of Ahl Sunnah and who do everything possible to destroy the, to destroy the Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah and do everything possible to oppose the Da'wah and methodology of Ahl Sunnah with Jama'ah this is a type of hostility and a type of evil that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deal with those people. But at the same time, brothers and sisters, we should have knowledge of these things and we should adhere to the kitab and the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and cooperate in righteousness. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.